Okay, in this video, I'm going to try another uh, AI-generated scroll saw pattern. This is one I, uh, the last one I did, the AI itself gave me the prompt to use to create it. Uh, this one, I uh, took several different uh, modifications to get this to this point. First come out with an image, and then I told it to take away the 3D, and then I told it to make it black on white. And I kept going until this is what it gave me. A fly flying around there. Anyway, uh, and then it left some some things hanging. I'm, you know, I'm just going to leave that out. It left this circle in the center not connected. I'm going to connect it a little bit on four sides. Uh, I was looking at this thinking if you shrunk this down, it might make a nice trivet. So it would be some small places to cut. So anyway, I'm going to take it. I got a number three blade. That's a soft, thin material. I think it's 3 16 so I'm going to slow the blade speed down so I don't eat through something as I'm making a turn because it's, like I say, it's fairly soft, and i got some pretty small spots to cut in some places. So let me get it over there. I'll get started cutting it. Okay, I got it cut out. It wasn't real difficult to cut. Uh, the problem was, once I got to cutting it and smelling the wood and how it was cutting, I realized it's balsa. I didn't know that when I picked it up as a piece of scrap. It came in a seconds package and wasn't labeled, but I could tell by the smell, like I say, and the way it cut. And the problem with that is balsa is very uh, soft, and you can see how it ha had trouble blowing the dust out of the way because it will mixed with the adhesive in the tape and the adhesive I use for the pattern and kind of glob up there. It's always done that. It's, it's very light, but it sticks to everything. Uh, plus, I've changed blowers. I was using, <clears throat> when my bellows went out, I was using an airbrush compressor. I switched over to a, an aquarium pump, air pump. I was concerned that the airbrush compressor should not be running constantly like that. I didn't want to burn it up. It's not a cheap piece of equipment. So anyway, I wasn't sure what to do with this now that I got it cut out. I like the way it looks. And uh, so I took it to my wife and showing it to her and she said, spray paint it black and hang it. There's a nail on my wall right there. You can hang it. She's got a little computer room, craft room. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my airbrush and paint it black and let it hang in her little room there for a while. So let me get the airbrush set up and I'll get a coat of black on it and see if it looks any better. It looks good now, but I think with black against a white wall, it'll look real nice. Okay, that didn't take long. I really like the airbrush for doing these. I've never done that before. It's really easy to get inside all those cuts and the fretwork without overloading the surface, making it puddle and run. So, uh, um, uh, really pleased with the uh, airbrush on these. Uh, I don't know why I hadn't thought of that before. I've had that, this airbrush set sitting under this under my counter over here for several years. But anyway, I'm going to take that in and put it on her wall. I'll take a photo of it and put it up as we're speaking here. So I hope you like that. That was just a, another quick experiment on a AI-generated scroll saw pattern. I've got two more. One's a Christmas tree and one's the state of Texas uh, that I asked it to make and I really was pleased with it. I got to modify it to make it really practical for the scroll saw, but I'll cover all that later. It'll probably be next week before I get to that. So if you like that, hit the like button. 
If you don't know when those come out, hit the, hit the subscription uh, and notifications so you'll know when I get those next ones out. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.